Hey y'all, welcome to the Penny Pinching Prepper channel. I'm Penny Pinching Prepper. Uh, do me a favor, get down there and throw a, a thumbs up for me. Um, if you... Oh man, can't do it today. Hey y'all, this is the Penny Pinching Prepper channel and I just want to welcome you. Uh, if you're new to this channel, give me a chance, check it out. And if you like what you see, subscribe please. Uh, if you like the video, leave me a thumbs up, some comments down below if you have any questions or anything you'd like to add, that would be wonderful. All those things help and are greatly appreciated. Uh, today's project is going to be my backpacking cot, or um, also can be used as a stretcher. Um, it can be used in actual several different ways, we'll get on to that in the, the, later on. Um, today we're just going to show you what you need for this project um, so you can gather everything up and get prepared to make it. Um, look for that later on in the week. That's usually how I do it. This one's actually going to be a three-part video. Um, so uh, this first video is just going to be the supplies you need, a little bit about the project, and um, the next one is going to be how to make the waterproofing and the third one is going to be how to put it all together so look forward to all those videos if you think this is a project for you so let's get right into it so to start this project off you're going to need a um, six by nine or six by eight uh, depending on what you can find canvas tarp I got mine at Harbor Freight good place to look the reasonably priced and actually pretty sturdy um, you can find it in other places too. I'm, I'm sure you can go to like your local Home Depot, your Lowe's, uh, several places. Anywhere that's going to have painting, painting tarps, uh, can painting canvas tarps, drop ca uh, tarps, um, whatever they're going to be called in, in your store. Uh, it varies. Some of them call them different things. Um, so six by nine or six by eight um, the the one I found was a six by nine and that's okay um, we, we, we take care of all that later on in the project we'll talk about it uh, in the third video um, another thing you're gonna need is some measuring cups preferably just the uh, one cup you're going to need some beeswax um, I have here uh, Health and Beauty Pure and Organic Yellow Beeswax, um, no additives. I got a five pound bag off of Amazon. Um, I like these because they melt down faster and most of the projects that I use, I, I'm, I'm, I'm melting it. I'm not, you know, just using it in a, a stick. Um, but whatever you're gonna need one pound guys one pound of beeswax so however you want to get it that's good for you you're gonna need some sort of a pot I use this all the time this is my project pot uh, you can also use uh, like a number 10 can um, you know you can use any sort of metal container uh, really uh, as long as it's you know fairly decent size um, two quarts or bigger uh, that's what this is, it's a two quart, so you're definitely going to need that. Another thing you're going to need is some turpentine, alright, um, and along with the turpentine you're going to need your uh, boiled linseed oil. Get the, the boiled, not the regular, okay guys, so keep that in mind. Um, if you're not getting a one pound block of, uh, you know, exactly one pound block of beeswax or you're using scraps from old candles and stuff like that, you're going to need to get yourself a little food scale so you can weigh it out because one pound is important. Um, you're going to need a good pair of scissors. You're also going to need 
a grommet kit. Now I will leave a link to Amazon down below for this um, to make it easy for you guys to find the beeswax. I'm not going to leave um, a link because it just depends on what kind of beeswax you want to get. As long as it's one pound or more and you're able to measure it out if it's more, like weigh it, like I said, you're going to be in good standing. Um, the last thing you're going to need is a sewing machine. Now, I don't have one. Um, I was able to use a friend's to do this project, and I will walk you through all the steps on how to do it. Um, but I'm not actually going to be able to show you my sewing skills. They're, you know, nothing to brag about. They're, they're good enough. But unfortunately, um, they didn't want me recording in their house and they wouldn't let me leave with the sewing machine so if you don't have access to a sewing machine maybe you have a friend or maybe you just have the patience to hand stitch now I'm talking lots of patience if you're gonna hand stitch you know um, but you know if you have the patience to hand stitch that is another way to go but I highly recommend a sewing machine <clears throat> uh, guys this project I, I, I've got a you know I, I've got to say it's not my project I figured out how to do it on my own but it's not my project all right I got this idea off of Corporal's Corner um, over a year ago he made one he showcased it he said that he was gonna get around to producing them and selling them and I waited and waited he never did so I decided to make it myself um, Still to this day, I've checked, rechecked, left comments, no response, hasn't made it, hasn't um, mass produced it, hasn't put it up for sale or anything like that. And uh, Corporal Corner, if you happen to be watching this, which I seriously doubt, I hope you're not too mad that I took your project, but I did wait over a year. So, um, this project can be used in cot formation um, now there's no sticks no metal frame no nothing it's literally just the canvas sheet all right and it's designed so that you can wrap it around your uh, sleeping bag your pillow all you know whatever it is you're using for your your um, your your bedding and uh, to keep it dry keep it safe and protected it's made to use the natural materials out in the forest so when you get out there you know however it is you're going to set up your shelter um, you know you'll be able to use you know branches or uh, small diameter trees or whatever it is that you can find to, to set up um, like I said, you can also use it as a, a, a stretcher. You can design it in a drag formation or a two-man carryout. Um, you can not use it as a cot at all. It will be designed where you can literally stuff it with leaves and grass, or grass seal up the end, have a nice ground pad that's insulated. Um, you can find two trees that are, you know, uh, 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 just long enough, not too long, not too short away from each other. You can suspend it up in a tree. You can build an on-ground uh, uh, frame for it in several different ways, whether it be, um, you know, the double tripod stretched out between leaning on uh, being stretched out from those tripods on each side you can uh, stretch it out and put two uh, two stretching posts in between the the long posts and, and stretch it out and put it up on logs um, that are laying on the ground a decent height off you can uh, you know use it in several different ways. I mean, basically think about all the different um, ways that you've seen to make bedding from your uh, drum liners. 
this is basically going to do the same thing only it's going to be more permanent more sturdy and it'll be waterproof <coughs> pardon me so a great little project guys um, I I thought it would be better to have than a hammock um, honestly because you know if you in a in a place where there might be trees but they're far apart you know this will allow you to build something just off the ground with you know whatever you can drag in um, personally I like the idea of a cot better than a hammock now don't get me wrong hammocks can be comfortable some of them more than others but I've always found a cot to be more comfortable than a hammock my opinion that depends on you guys we all have our own opinion we're all entitled to it and you know go with what's best for you <clears throat> but I wanted to share this project because I just thought it was an awesome idea of his I figured out how to make it or how to make it I did wait a good amount of time before you know rolling with the project on myself instead of waiting for him and not to mention I'm the penny pinching prepper it's always cheaper to make it yourself than it is to buy it from somebody else so guys get all these things together once again that's uh, a pound of beeswax or more a pot that you uh, don't mind you know getting messy of some sort or number 10 can or you know whatever you can find a metal bucket or whatever it doesn't matter that's gonna be some turpentine some boiled linseed oil I'll leave a link to the grommet kit down below this has everything you need in it the the, the grommets the cutting tool the compression tool uh, everything you need oh I did forget um, when it comes to doing this part you will need a hammer so um, I didn't get it out here but you will need a hammer full disclosure good pair of scissors something to weigh your beeswax on like a food scale and your uh, six by nine or six by eight drop cloth canvas tarp um, or I shouldn't say tarp can or drop or your canvas drop cloth for painting or you know any sort of work that you don't want to get anything messy with and a one cup measuring cup or if all you have is a half cup, I mean, we all know how to do basic math, right? Well, most of us anyways. Um, so, look forward to further in the week, and we'll talk about the project a little bit more. We'll teach you how to make the waterproofing for it, which will also be good for a lot of other things. This is a really good uh, watering, waterproofing uh, mixture. Um, works on all kinds of things wood canvas cotton any sort of cloth you know you can think of um, and in some cases even metal to help keep your tools protected um, so oh and uh, guys if you feel like you got to leave some sort of comment about this down below go ahead and do it I'm there to listen if uh, you think there's something better that I can add uh, by all means let me know and uh, don't forget a sewing machine because uh, hand stitching might be no no fun I'm not saying you can't do it but it might not be much fun so get your hands on a sewing machine borrow it from your mother your grandmother your friend down the block whatever it takes try to get your hands on a sewing machine if you don't have one but I really think you'll like this project. Uh, so without further ado, I'm going to get out of here before this video gets too long. And uh, remember, God's good, God bless, and thank you for watching.